important. These remnants of bygone times are a sad reminder of past glories, a flashback to the days when Britannia ruled the waves. Egyptian imitations were symbols of this costly facade. So were gruesome replicas of prehistoric monsters. It was all part of the layout for that most controversial of Victorian ventures, the Crystal Palace, which burnt to the ground in 1936. From the ashes of the old, a new glass palace has risen. The Crystal Palace National Recreation Center is a switched on modern boon to Britain's sportsmen. It's a center which caters for almost every type of sporting endeavor and boasts an amphitheater stadium. The 11-storey hostel provides accommodation for visiting athletes and coaches. But there are still reminders of the past which intermingle incongruously with modernity. Schoolgirls and boys, as well as top athletes, can take advantage of the futuristic sports hall and add their own throwaway symmetry to the scene. The original Crystal Palace was built in Hyde Park to house the Great Exhibition of 1851 and then recreated at Sydenham on the fringe of London. But the old palace couldn't offer such thrills as coach Pat Winkle can bounce out. Now the palace is renowned as a sports centre and football teams like Leighton Orient train here. But the original Victorian accent wasn't on anything as mundane as soccer. It was all part of Britain's own cultural revolution. In their own words, it was intended to elevate, instruct and educate the taste of the people of the metropolis. A ski slope, artificial but effective, is part of the new scheme of things. It's winter time all year long here, where school children and adults alike can practice on this nylon-covered slope. But even an experienced coach can sometimes go a bit ski whiff. Diving in the sports hall is another operation which calls for practice. Until you're competent, it's wise to just jump and hope for the best. But an instructor is at hand to advise on the best body angles. An eight-lane swimming pool plus a special shallow teaching pool are all part of the Crystal Palace's new image. Victoriana has no place here now, though the original ideal of combining education with amusement has been given a paradoxical slant. But you're not restricted to just swimming underwater these days. 